Welcome to Recursive Gaming. These are my top 10 tips and tricks for the Ascent. Stay until the end of the video for an extra tip, an extremely useful free augment. Max Vital Signs first. This improves the health of your character and will improve your experience in the Ascent more than any other character stat. Tip number two, stack armor and resists. Choose which gear to equip based on the defenses first and the bonus stat points second. The enemy has a lot of ways to force you out of cover. You cannot depend on cover to make up for a lack of defenses. By making yourself tanky early on, you will be able to survive higher level encounters without being one shot. This makes exploring much easier because the high level areas are not marked and you will just run into high level enemies that will one shot you constantly, sometimes even if you have built tanky. By maxing vital signs and improving your defenses first, you will be able to explore the game with much more freedom. Part of making yourself tanky enough to survive in the early game is not maxing critical hit rate, which at max only gives you 20% and is not worth the extreme investment of points. Tip number three, for all of us who don't use controllers, Keybind the crouch command to left shift instead of left control. The default left control keybind is awkward and it is much easier to use cover well when you can crouch using left shift. Tip number four, save your initial money for the stasis drone that you get from the vendor in main mission three. You will need 22,000 for it, but it is the first access you will have to applying stasis overcharge on enemies which is necessary for a level 10 side quest that you get in the starting zone. Tip number five, make your secondary weapon a different damage type. I recommend investing in a physical damage weapon as your main weapon because it does good damage to every enemy type. I used fire damage as my secondary and it worked very well, but I discovered that I still need my physical weapon because you can't light robots on fire. Tip number six, do the three main missions first before any side quests. During main mission three, you get your first cybernet upgrade, the ICE-1, which is super important for accessing a surprising amount of the map, secret areas, and chests. Also during main mission three, you get access to the node, which allows you to travel to other tiers. Don't be like me and spend time traveling all over the map, only to find yourself restricted and unable to pass through areas, get chests that you find, or even travel on the node. Side quests will not warn you that you can't use the node yet. They will simply have you travel to the node only to find that you have wasted your time. Trust me, finish the first three main missions in the game before doing anything else. Tip number seven, use the minimap a lot. Learn the minimap icons. This will make life much easier. The Ascent is a beautiful game, but unfortunately it has a lot going on and the environments within the game make it difficult to spot things sometimes. It can be disorienting at first, and learning what objects in the game are interactable just takes time. Use the minimap to learn what to pay attention to as you are exploring. Tip number 8. Do not try to optimize questing between main quests and side quests, because the map does a bad job of showing you quest locations and enemies' levels in surrounding areas. Also, the side quests are going to send you all over the map, from place to place, in multiple steps. You will often find yourself backtracking and exploring way more of the map than you wanted. Just focus on one quest at a time. Tip number 9. Use the Metro. It is difficult to understand when to use the metro because of the way quests on the map are presented. However, there have been many times when I traveled on foot across the entire map thinking I was very close to a quest when I ended up walking right past the metro station I could have taken to get there so much faster. Just take a few seconds to look at the map and choose a metro station. And that will make your life much easier. Tip number 10. Explore. This may seem self-explanatory, but 
Honestly, exploring is the best way to progress your character. Not only is exploring the only way to get all of the hidden chests and secret areas in the Ascent, it is also the best way to get upgraded gear and experience because of bounties. Bounties spawn randomly while you explore and they often have fantastic gear upgrade drops. The money you get as a reward for the bounty is just the cherry on top. Thank you for staying until the end of this video. Here is my extra tip number 11, the location of a free augment, the Luton Drone. The Luton Drone may seem like a small quality of life auto looter, but it can be much more helpful than that. Health items that drop from enemies in long fights can be a lifesaver, but many times they are difficult to see and impossible to get to. The drone picks up every health item within a long range, healing you and winning difficult fights more often than you'd think. Plus, it's free, and you can get it a long time before you have access to any other augments in the game. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.